let us continue with our mathematics first chapter number system with the part 6 in the previous part we have seen how to represent a decimal number on a number line by using successive magnification let me continue with the second sum of the same exercise so exercise 1.4 our next sum is nothing but 4.26 bar or in a decimal way we can write it as what 4.26262 and so on on a number line up to four decimal place so we have to represent only till to four decimal place means we have to represent on a number line 4.2626 let us watch the video for this question is 4.26 bar so this number is a recurring number now how to represent a recurring number on a number line by using successive magnification so for till four decimal place we will consider here three decimal place four decimal place or more than that also now here i will explain you by using four decimal place so what will be the four decimal place for this number 4.26 bar that means two six number is repeating again and again so if i want to write it till four decimal place so this number will come as two six two six and so on so i will represent 4.2626 on a number line so let us start now so i will start with the number first the number as four so first of all a number four we have to draw it on a number line so zero one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten this is a simple number line again i will repeat you have to take a distance as a same distance between two numbers that is very important this is not in general you just take a points and you will draw the numbers take a proper scale and pencil and take a unit distance as one centimeter or two centimeter but i think in your book you can take it as one centimeter only now where is your point four line the your point four is nothing but over here so my number is 4.2 that means a number greater than four so where it will come that point will lie in between four to five so we will magnify this four to five distance again so i will consider this point as 4.0 and five as 5.0 and on the next number line i will start with 4.0 4.1 4.2 4.3 4.4 4.5 4.6 4.7 4.8 4.9 and 5.0 so that means i have magnified this distance I will show it with a line over here that 4.0 I have just magnified to 5.0. Now, what is my next number? The next number is next digit is what? Next digit is 4.2. So, where the 4.2 is there on your number line? Exactly over here. But I want to represent the next digit also, so that point will lie what? It should be greater than 4.2. So that means that point will lie in between 4.2 to 4.3. So what we will do? We will magnify this distance 4.2 at consider as 4.20 and 4.3 as 4.30. And we will just magnify that as 4.20. 4.21, 4.22, 4.23, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 
then what is my next digit just see over here it is 4.26 so where that 4.26 is there on your underline it is nothing but over here 4.26 so 4.26 the next digit is 0.2 then here that means that point will lie in between 4.26 to 4.27 so just magnify that distance by considering 4.260 to 4.270 so i will draw it on the next number line as 4.260 and 4.270 so we will just join it 4.260 and 4.270 over here okay now what is my next one my next digit is what 4.2 i have just just we see where is your 4.262 now 4.262 point is over here is it correct now my digit the next digit is what 6 so i want to again magnify 4.262 to 4.263 so i will take the next digit as again 0 and 0 over here and just magnify 4.2620 4.2621 4.2622 and last one is 4.2630 so we have magnified this distance so just i will show it with a line over here just join these two points so that you will easily understand which part is magnified now my next digit is what 4.2626 so just find out where is my point so this point is nothing but here so 4.2626 on your number line can you see clearly so till four digit term four decimal place i am representing a number recurring number 4.26 part if you want to continue with the next you have to continue with the next number lines and you can show any decimal number on a number line completed with our exercise 1.4 and we will continue with exercise 1.5 now in 1.5 first i will directly start with the fourth or fifth sum i think it is a represent square root of 9.3 on a number line because already we have done how to represent a irrational number on a number line but in a square root again if the decimal number is given in that case how to represent it on a number line by using construction let us see for that first by using this video how to represent the square root of 9.3 on a number line so see the construction first we have to draw a segment of 9.3 exactly can you see over here i am taking exactly 9.3 distance so in a scale and draw the side so i will mark it this point as a and this point as b this is totally different construction as we have done before okay so this distance a b distance is nothing but of 9.3 the next is nothing but just we have to extend this ab line just extend the ab line just i will put the arrow and now take a unit distance in your compass 
Now again as I told you unit distance means what? You can take a measurement of either 3 cm or 4 cm. Here can you see over here I have taken 3 cm. Keep a compass at a point B and draw the arc on that line. Yes, so here actually this is a nothing but a ray, not a line. So just keep the compass at a point B and draw the arc which intersect the ray. So this is nothing but your one unit distance. Now, I will mark this point as C. Now the next construction is what? The star, you just take the segment as AC. Can you see AC, not the B point. After taking the unit distance, whatever point you will get, that point we have marked it as C. So, take the AC segment and draw the perpendicular bisector. I think all of you know how to draw, construct a perpendicular bisector of a segment. So, take more than half distance, draw the arc on both the side. Keep the compass at a point C without changing the distance in your compass and draw the arcs. So you will get the intersection point over here. Now join these points. So join these two intersection points to get the perpendicular bisector of AC. Is it clear to all of you till here? So this is a perpendicular bisector so that I will show the perpendicular sign and bisector sign. Now the next point is what? So what is the meaning of this perpendicular bisector? We are dividing the AC segment into equal parts. This is a bisecting that segment. Therefore, here this intersection point is nothing but the midpoint of A and C. So we will draw the semicircle. So keep the compass at this intersection point. Take a radius till the point A and draw the semicircle just see to that both the side it is it, it is correct or not exactly correct so we will draw the semicircle yes again i will repeat what we have done we have taken the ab distance as 9.3 Take a unit distance BC as one unit distance by considering as 3 cm distance. Then AC segment just draw the perpendicular bisector of that and take this intersection point as a midpoint of AC. Keep the compass at a point and draw the semicircle. Till here is it clear so that we can continue with the next part. Now use the set square. Can you see the set square over here? Yes, use a set square, keep the compass at a point B and just draw the perpendicular where it will intersect at this our semicircle. Can you see this is nothing but our intersection point. Now, the next part is what just extend this BC line. Now, here I have used the sketch pen so I can't erase this one otherwise you have to erase this mark and just extend it. Now the next part is very very important. Now keep the compass at a point B and this perpendicular where it will intersect at this semicircle take a distance till here and just draw the arc which intersect your number line and this point is nothing but we can say as square root of 9.3. All of you understood both the concept. Try at home the same construction by using different numbers and solve the sums as a practice. Thank you.